When is it really legal to draw your gun? In this video, Chip Eberhardt, former law enforcement officer and competition shooter, answers this question. And a quick reminder, we have a gun giveaway going on right now. You can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description below to reveal which brand new gun you could win. Now, let's watch the video. Hi, I'm Chip Eberhardt, Concealed Carry Magazine, City Limits. Today, we're gonna to talk about when it's appropriate and legal for you to draw your gun. We carry a firearm so we're hard to kill, but we need knowledge of the law so we're hard to convict. A lot of people end up knowing a lot about firearms and very little about self-defense laws. It's important that you know the laws concerning self-defense. One good resource is USCCA website and an even better one is the USCCA app. You need to know the rules of engagement. When we're looking at self-defense, there are five pillars that need to be met for justified use of force. Those pillars are gonna be innocence, eminence, avoidability, proportionality, and reasonableness. When we talk about innocence, that means you are truly innocent. Innocence means you're lawful to be there. You're not in the commission of a crime, and you're not fleeing from a crime. Also, it means that you were not the initial aggressor. Then there's imminence. Imminence means that the perceived threat is happening here and now. It means that the guy's coming at you with the crowbar, not just saying, I'm gonna go get a crowbar. Now, avoidability, there are only 14 states that say you have to make a reasonable attempt to avoid before you can actually defend yourself. You need to know what state you're in and what the laws are there. But again, there are only 14 states and it's only reasonable avoidance. Those laws we usually know as castle doctrine or stand your ground. A lot of people get confused there. People think that castle doctrine means if somebody comes into your house, you can shoot them. That's not what castle doctrine means. What castle doctrine means is that if someone comes into your home and they threaten you with violence, that means that you do not have a duty to avoid or retreat before defending yourself. And then in public places, places that are not your home, that's where stand your ground comes in. Stand your ground does not mean that just because someone's annoying you or bothering you, you can shoot them. Stand your ground means that if someone is threatening you with force, that you do not have to retreat, that you can, in fact, stand your ground. Then we get to proportionality. Proportionality means, is your response proportionate? If someone slaps you, is it proportionate to meet that response with a firearm? Now, what if somebody uses a baseball bat? Absolutely. Because a baseball bat would be lethal force. A slap would not. Let me give you a definition of lethal force. Lethal force is any force that would cause death or great bodily harm. By great bodily harm, we mean any force that would be crippling, permanent injury or disfiguring injury. A slap wouldn't do that. And then we get to reasonableness. Reasonableness is kind of an umbrella that we use to look at the entire situation. It's kind of like we're saying, would a reasonable and prudent person have acted in the same way? Now, with most states, they allow you to use lethal force in defense of your life, in defense of an innocent third party's life, or in defense of life whereas you're preventing a forcible felony. I like to think of the Shark Tank analogy. If you're a USCCA member, you've probably heard this before. We talk about what would be worth going into a Shark Tank for. If your watch fell into a Shark Tank, would you go in for that? No, that's just stuff. That's why we have insurance. Insurance is to replace our stuff. It's never worth going into a Shark Tank for any stuff that we own. But what if your child or your grandchild fell into there? in a heartbeat. That's the only time we're gonna defend life or that's the only time we're gonna flip that coin is if it's life at stake, never stuff. If you find yourself in a situation where you're a bystander, the threat is not with you. You need to know exactly what's going on. Remember, it's always better to evade and avoid. Although you can defend an innocent third party, it may not be appropriate to do that all the time.
I'm not saying you should walk away from every situation, but you need to analyze every situation as if your life depended on it because your life will depend on it. Because even if you don't have any personal injury, you could have financial injury, criminal injury, spiritual injury, emotional injury. You need to know exactly who that third party is. You need to know who the player is in the action. You might come into a scene like what happened in a situation. A concealed carrier came into a gas station. He saw the guy behind the counter with his hands up. He saw somebody in front of the counter with a shotgun. He pulled out his concealed carry and he shot the guy with the shotgun. Well, it turned out that the guy with the shotgun was the store owner. The guy behind the counter had just killed the clerk. You've got to know exactly what the situation is. Again, while it may be possible to defend an innocent third party, you need to make sure that that third party is actually innocent. In all cases, whenever you can, it's most important to evade and avoid. And again, check the USCCA website, carry the USCCA app, know the laws in your area. Chip Everhart, Concealed Carry Magazine, City Limits. See you next time. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. And a quick reminder again, we have that gun giveaway going on and it ends really soon. All you have to do is click the link below to reveal which brand new gun you could win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.